As many people already know, Pac-Man's ability to Z-Drop and recatch his fruit got removed in Smash Ultimate. This change was a bit unfortunate since Z-Dropping allowed Pac-Man to have lots of offensive pressure options while still having a threat of throwing a dangerous projectile like Bellar Galaxian. And while Z-Dropping isn't completely useless in Smash Ultimate, it's definitely been nerfed a lot since Smash 4 as you can only Z-Drop his fruit once before they disappear. However, to make up for this, Pac-Man got a new mechanic implemented into his kit called Fruit Recycling that's just as good, if not better than Z-Dropping. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this tech and how you can use it in games. A really important mechanic with all of Pac-Man's bonus fruits is that once you charge to a fruit and throw it, you can recatch it. When fruit is in your hand, it can be thrown or z-dropped one more time before it disappears. Even if it lands on the ground after being thrown, it can't be recaught. However, if you press a B button while you have a fruit in your hand, Pac-Man will go back to charging the fruit, allowing you to charge to a different fruit or throw and recatch it again. Even if you cancel your charge, you are still able to store the same projectile and charge from it later. This is called fruit recycling, or sometimes fruit looping, both of which are great names. Either way though, this tech allows you to use fruit essentially an infinite amount of times, provided you can keep catching it. Before, in Smash 4, when you had a fruit in your hand, your opponent could kinda just sit in shield until you threw it, and then you had to charge your fruit up again. However, now your opponent actually has to challenge you if they want you to stop reusing fruit, which is a bit dangerous since some of Pac-Man's fruits, such as Galaxian and Bell, can do tons of damage and potentially kill. This tech is incredibly versatile and gives Pac-Man a ton of different ways to utilize fruit for mix-ups. However, before we get into those, it's really important to explain the frame data intricacies of fruit. When you initially cast a fruit from your hand, it takes 17 frames for the fruit to have an active hitbox when throwing it. I'm going to call this a charge state just to make it easier to explain some stuff. On the flip side, if you have a fruit in your hand, it only takes 8 frames for you to be able to throw it, and you can throw it in all 4 directions. You can also z-drop fruit in the air if you have it in your hand, which is frame 1. This means that throwing fruit in your hand is a lot quicker and much better as a punish tool, especially since you can throw things out of shield and not experience any shield drop lag. However, the downside to this is that you can't recatch fruits you throw from your hand, and when a fruit is in your hand you can't use any of your normals or aerials, making it restrict your options quite a bit. However, thanks to fruit recycling, you can switch between having a fruit in its charge state and having fruit in your hand very easily. If you have fruit in your hand, you can basically choose between throwing the fruit directly out of your hand with the A button or C stick, or using fruit recycling to re-throw it and be able to catch it again by pressing B twice, once to put it back in your hand, and the second time to re-throw it. Generally, it's best to throw it out of charge states when you're trying to set up a projectile wall, or if there's no urgent need to throw it right away, and throw fruit out of your hand when you're trying to quickly punish something, especially out of shield or out of a parry. The only problem with having fruit in your hand is that it prevents you from using any of your attacks other than specials until you get rid of it. However, there are plenty of ways to play around this as well. If you have fruit in your hand, you can actually put fruit back into its charge state and enter your idle animation very quickly. To do this, you need to press the B button and then lightly tap the shield button right after. Lightly tapping the shield button is really important because it lets you stop fruit charge without entering shield, allowing you to do whatever you want immediately after. This can catch some people off guard since if you do it perfectly, you can put away fruit in 10 frames which can let you access your normal attacks when your opponent doesn't really expect you to be able to. Technically, you can also do this into shield or jump by pressing shield instead of lightly tapping it or pressing jump, but if you can, try to master the idle animation cancel since it gives you the most options afterwards. Another really good use of putting fruit away is essentially being able to tomahawk grab but with fruit. Having fruit in your hand makes your opponent want a shield since it lets them not get hit by fruit. Knowing this, you can quickly put away fruit into your hand to potentially lend a dash grab and get a lot of damage. And in case you didn't know, Pac-Man's grab actually works in this game and his up throw combos into neutral air and up air which is really great. In summary, fruit recycling is a really useful tech that makes Pac-Man a lot more consistent and neutral. It lets Pac-Man be a lot more flexible with his fruit and not have to commit nearly as much to one setup as he used to. And as opposed to shielding or waiting out all of his fruit setups like you could in Smash 4, you now have to challenge Pac-Man to prevent him from catching fruit which can be scary since getting hit at the wrong time can lead to heavy punishes. It's a really useful technique that's super important to mastering the character. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Pac-Man as well as Smash Ultimate in general. I have a lot of stuff planned out for the next few months, so be sure to stick around for that. Also, if you're interested in inkling this game, I made a guide on his movement options about a month ago that I'll link here. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.